National vote recount of the March 2nd general and regional elections started this morning, with counting agents from the various political parties turning up at the Auto Chung Convention Center to get the ball rolling. Security was tied with all party officials being searched by police ranks before entering the compound, while vehicles were checked with sniffer dogs. Deputy Commissioners of Police Paul Williams and Maxine Graham were on the ground to ensure that the process went smoothly without any hiccups. Inside the building, the COVID-19 task force had tents set up to sanitize and screen those going into the building. Back outside, GCOM Commissioner Vincent Alexander spoke with reporters before going into the center and said all observers would be brief. What they plan to do this morning, the first instance, is to have a briefing with the uh, observers and then to start from the data. Both government and opposition officials were eager to get the recount started. Minister of Public Infrastructure David Patterson and Youth Affairs Minister Simona Broom said they were quite pleased that the process had started. I'm, I'm quite um, happy, quite pleased to be here. Um, we are quite pleased to tell that this process has actually started. As you, as you said, it's all that we wanted to ensure that, well, that when this results are, this tabulation recount is finished, that a clear and un, unambiguous party has won. So we are here um, to just um, do our part, scrutinize, raise our objections, certify um, what's been done before. We've trained our agents, we, 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 they're, they're, they're with me, I think they're armed with, with information and those things like that that they need to use during this process. Um, so we, we're looking forward to it. I know the political parties met with uh, GCOM uh, some time ago, some days ago. Uh, certain concerns were raised, security and otherwise. Are you pleased with the systems implemented here uh, for the recount? Well, so far, so good, because um, obviously I see the Ghana police are in charge. Uh, one of the things that one, um, the one political party wants was private security. So I'm, I'm pleased to see that the Ghana police is in charge. And so far, you can see it's been effortless. It's quite interesting. Like, you know, it's not a normal time, even with the risk of health, because we all behind some masses. But um, this is history in Guyana. And I want to say at this time that all of us um, need to pay attention, needs to be sober, but that we maintain the peace, that we, we, you know, we resist violence and confusion. Um, and for me, I want Guyana to win at the end of the day. It's not about me or even the party that I represent, but it's about Guyana. So I want a victory for Guyana. I want to enter this. Meanwhile, Juan Edgel said his party had some concerns. I expect that we will have a free, transparent, honest recount that will satisfy all Guyanese and bring closure to this matter. Could you tell us about the briefing that the people and the parties have been satisfied at some of the briefings? Well, as the party would have made in its statement yesterday, we, uh, we still have to get the issue of the signed statement of recount sorted out. We will expect that by the time every box is completed, a signed statement of recount will be issued in the room. So we're asking that there be photocopying machines in every room so it is not going to the chief elections office and sometime we get it and then we don't get it. The observers were all set to observe the process with the OAS, the Commonwealth and the Private Sector Commission all on the ground to observe the process. Head of the PSC, Jerry Gavaya, said he is optimistic of the process. I am relatively comfortable. I think there have been a lot of work, a lot of effort went into it. Um, there was a lot of um, back and forth in communication, but I'm, I'm actually quite optimistic. You are expected to be briefed by the commission? Yes, this morning, yes. Did they tell you what exactly they're going to be briefed? Not really, but we expect to know like where, how people are going to be allocated to its stations and so on. But like I said to Dennis, I'm very optimistic. I think they've gone, they've done a lot of work. And there's been a lot of compromise back and forth. And I th I'm actually looking forward in a very optimistic way to what is going to happen. Do you have the number of people calling for the Yes, 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 yes. Mr. Kavai, the PPP has expressed concern about the CEO having possession of what you have stated. What are your views on that? Actually, I, I'm, I, saw, I saw it in the news. And um, we haven't discussed it with Private Sector Commission. But um, I imagine that they're going to resolve it in an in a, in a amicable way. Quickly before you go, Mr. Gavai, there have been concerns raised about uh, the PSC on the earth championship being regarded as a stooge, and uh, basically this calls into question the credibility of some of the public and junior that have been thinking about.
about the electoral process. What's your reaction to all of this? I am not. I'm, the people who are making that are very reckless and very idle. Um, if I was a, if I was a political operative, I'll wear it on my sleeve. I don't belong to any political party. I am a member of civil society, and I choose to be that. And we will always end up with an independent voice. If that voice happens to come down on the side of one side and the next, it don't mean we're on their side. It means we're on the side of what we believe is right. All the party agents were briefed by the commission before the process started. The national vote recount is being scrutinized by a three-member CARICOM team.